We are now on to scanning the patient. We have disinfected the screen, the trackpad and the camera, and we're now preparing the patient for scanning. So there are some tools that we need to make sure we consistently scan the patient. We use an optogate to hold the tissues out of the way. Tissue to dry the teeth, which are held with Miller's forceps. You can use cotton wool rolls, again, used to hold, keep the tongue or the cheek out of the way. And the standard mirror probe and tweezers pack. So now we're gonna assess the patient intraorally and we're looking for some signs. Main sign is mouth opening. So how restricted is mouth opening? Because that obviously makes scanning a little bit more challenging. We're gonna look intraorally for his tongue to see whether that's encroaching on the space and his cheeks as well. Because we're gonna then use additional items to help retract while we're scanning. So we're gonna assess mouth opening. So we're gonna ask the patient to open as wide as they can. I can get three fingers in. So I know I've got about 55 millimeter of mouth opening. So that's gonna make scanning a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna use my mirror and we're just gonna have a look inside to see whether the cheeks are starting to cover the last tooth. So that if they have a wisdom tooth, you'll find that the cheek will cover that. So you will be using your mirror to pull things out of the way so you can get a real good scan, especially the last tooth in the arch. And we're looking at the tongue as well to see whether that encroaches. We're looking at the arch width. Is the arch quite narrow? Because again, the tongue will start to fold over the teeth. So we're gonna be using a mirror to retract. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use an optogate to hold the tissues out of the way. We look at the size of the mouth and we'll choose the appropriate size. So we're gonna place the optogate in between the lips and the teeth. So you ask the patient to open nice and wide and then relax your lips. And we drop it in between the lips and the teeth. So now we have retraction. We need to dry the teeth now. I don't use a three in one because I don't want to generate any aerosol. So I'll simply fold some tissue. You can either just drop it into the patient, ask them to bite, open nice and wide and bite together. And that will start to absorb some of the moisture over the teeth. Open. You can also use some Miller forceps and simply attach it to that and then it becomes one piece and you can do it on both sides. Okay, open again and bite. So that now is getting rid of any fluid so we can get an accurate scan. So when we look at the scanning protocol, it's starting with lower jaw, upper jaw and buccal scan. There's a switch to the left, which can switch off the camera like that or activate the camera. You can also use your foot switch, but we'll be using the camera, which does the work for you. So we're gonna lift the camera as we discussed numerous times. I'm gonna hold it as a pen grip. Talking about rotating it, letting the camera, the dynamic lens, do the work for you. So we're gonna start with the lower jaw. Now, before we do that, you can see we have light over the mouth. We need to take that away. We do not want anything causing any reflection. If you have a loops light, you need to remove that. And we're now ready to scan the patient.